So in HVAC, what you're seeing behind me is the typical air condition you would see leaving a properly functioning cooling coil. So what you're seeing here is 100% saturated air. This happens when the dry bulb, wet bulb, and dew point are at or close to the same condition. Ideally, this would be at 100% relative humidity, but we're pretty darn close this morning. And as you can see on the psych chart, this is the condition you leave typically from a cooling coil. This would be a little colder than you would typically see, 44 degrees. You might have this if you're doing a low dew point application like a surgery suite. But the point is here to note we're at the 100% saturation curve on the psychometric chart. What's going to happen here in a few hours is the sun's going to continue to rise. It's going to heat up the air. We're going to get off, move this way on the psychometric chart, and we're going to get off the saturation curve and you won't see the fog anymore because the air won't be 100% saturated. When the air is 100% saturated, it can no longer hold moisture and you get this condition called fog. In a cooling coil, we try to achieve this condition so that we can remove the moisture from the air off of the cooling coil into the drain pan. So we leave around here from the cooling coil. We pick up some fan heat, some duct heat, and hopefully the air arrives at a space in a condition such that it will absorb the sensible and latent heat in the proper ratio so that we end up at the design intent of temperature and humidity.